Seven is on your side tonight after a Prince George's County woman called to say that the grass at a neighboring property had not been cut in nearly two years. Well, that property also happens to be a historic cemetery from the 1700s. Government watchdog reporter Chris Pabst set out today to help her. I just want some help. I For the past 18 months, Joanne Morgan has watched helplessly as the grass inside this revolutionary and Civil War era cemetery next to her house just kept growing. This is an eyesore, and it's just not for me, but for the entire neighbor. Morgan said the previous owner cared for the property, which used to get plenty of visitors. But since his death in 2012, the land has been allowed to rot. Now many of the headstones are lost behind a wall of green. This is a landmark. This is historical. And somebody should do something about this. This cemetery goes from here, past to all the way back to Apple Grove Elementary School. Morgan said her repeated calls to the county to contact the current owner and enforce grass ordinances got her nowhere. So she called seven on your side. This morning, we contacted Prince George's County. A short time later, during our interview with Morgan, code enforcement arrived, took some pictures, and gave her the news she's wanted to hear. What do you tell you? He said that they're going to have someone to come here and cut the grass. They're going to get a crew. Seven on your side. <laughs> I like y'all. <laughs> this notice to clean was just put up a couple of hours ago by the Prince George's County Code Enforcement Department. The property owners have been notified. They now have 10 days to cut this grass. If they don't, the county will come back and cut it and then put a $3,000 lien on this historic cemetery. In Fort Washington, Chris Pabst. ABC 7 News.